Tell everybody where we are today. We're at Grand Cru Custom Crush in Windsor, where we uh, Booker Wines, we do our tastings here. Very nice little uh, tasting room, and uh, you uh, definitely gotta come and check it out. Like you said, you're in Windsor. How easy is it find to, uh, easy to find Grand Cru? It's really easy. It's about, uh, it's just right in the heart of the Russian River Valley as you're coming north into Healdsburg. Windsor's just the next town south. Right, right, very close. I think it was 20 minutes. Yes. Uh, and so a real short drive from uh, the vineyards that we were at a little earlier. And what are we sipping on right now? We have our 2021 Pomard clone. Um, our vineyard, as John mentioned, is about 40 acres. We have uh, 14 different blocks of Pinot Noir, and five of them are planted to this, mm. this clone called Pomard clone. Mm. Um, kind of classic Russian river, red fruit driven, berry and cherry, just a really lovely wine. Yeah, I like how different it tastes than the wine that we tasted earlier, yeah. right? I mean, this is clearly uh, different. And good. Yes. I mean, just as good, but just, just uh, it, it almost feels like a cleaner, uh, uh, clearer uh, tasting. Uh, that's my opinion. That's hey. Yeah, this, this uh, the, the, the Mar Clone uh, does really well in the northern part of the Russian River Valley. Uh -huh. Retains the acidity really nicely. We talked about that a little bit early with the right. you know cooler nights. Uh, have that. This particular clone does well in the warmer part of the Russian River Valley, and it really is the foundation of our vineyard and the foundation of our wines mm -hmm. and some of the other wineries that uh, purchase fruit from us. And right. It's a it's a, it's a lovely uh, blend. We're able to basically this is all from our vineyard. We have uh, as Diane mentioned, we have. Uh, five different sites of Pomar planted, mm -hmm. and it really exemplifies what uh, Russian River right. uh, is all about. Um, so, yeah. cheers. cheers again! Cheers again! Cheers. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, tell me once again, and you probably mentioned it before. Uh, how many different Pinots do you guys produce? Uh, yeah. So we, uh, we we mentioned that we're on the west side of West Side Road into the Rolling Hills, uh, which gives us uh, a lot of different sites. Um, think of the sites, of uh, different soils that really mm -hmm. drive uh, our vineyard, and and that uh, allows us. Uh, we have different elevations, different road directions, different clones. That, that all adds to the right. to what is um, what is being produced at that particular site. Sure. And uh, and so those those hills and valleys and the different microclimates that we have right. within right. those uh, parts of the vineyard. Right. I mean, think about it, so it's, I mean, relatively speaking, 40 acres, is, it's a relatively small vineyard, mm -hmm. but we produce actually four different Pinots. Four Pinots, just from, from that, that just, 40 acres. Right, right. It, four different distinct bottlings that we do. Wow. And uh, we're able to do that because of a lot of the, all the differentiation between the soil, elevation, right. road direction, clones. Uh, all of that adds to what the terroir is in that particular site. So, so how many different microclimates are there in that 40 acres? Uh, well, I, I haven't counted them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can but, feel them as you drive through the vineyard. Uh, well, it's interesting as you know, we, we harvest at night like we mm -hmm. discussed earlier. And uh, so the last two weeks, it's been interesting because I, I can, uh, we've had some warm nights and some cooler nights. Sure. And uh, even even within those evenings, I could be driving through the vineyard mm -hmm. to meet the crew and I could pass through different parts of the vineyard and feel the temperature change. Wow, wow. Uh, well within just just from the from one block to the next wow and and that's just that's basically um, what we're talking about when we're talking about right. different microclimates right, all right. within a small area then you put that out on a bigger scale and think mm -hmm. of the different microclimates just within the, the Russian River Valley right um, and yeah. then uh, step back again and, and uh, talk wow. about the different uh, climates in the different growing regions in Sonoma County. So, right. so it's really, it's pretty cool. It's actually right. really a yeah. neat, neat, uh, right. neat thing. To, and it's, and it's really something tangible right. that we feel when we're driving out right. the vineyard and in the, especially in the evening when you can yeah. see, feel those fluctuations yeah. and temperature. Now as a winemaker, it must be fun to play with all those different climates and, and all those different temperatures. And, and how does that help you make decisions about, uh, the blends that you're going to make? Uh, well, a lot of it is is uh, what, what what what's good about it since we we produce mainly Pinot, but we have different sites that ripen differently. Now mm -hmm. this year we it's it's a little compressed like we talked about. Right. But normally you wouldn't think that we could be picking Pinot for three and a half weeks, uh, but we do, and that's right. that's where those different microclimates, the right. sites, uh, rootstock, uh, clones, uh, soil. Right. 
all of that plays into when that fruit is going to ripen. Right. And uh, so, so that's that's really uh, it, it's it's really an interesting phenomena that we see in our venue. Now, another thing too is this has been a little wetter year than we've had in the last several years. Um, and that, do you think that's played a part in it? It ripening and harvest coming a little quicker this year. Um, I, I think uh, the I think the wet year gave us some really good growth as we discussed. The, the canopies have been mm -hmm. beautiful, um, but that coupled with uh, the warmer summer that we've had ah. have, have brought the the grapes uh, probably a little earlier. Although it's interesting, also with Pinot Noir, we've um, we have gravitated over the years to uh, planting. Um, the uh, acreage uh, more densely, so basically no more vines per acre, uh, and just that we've we've manipulated harvest a bit ourselves. Okay, because more vines per acre means there's less pounds per vine, uh -huh. so that vine because it has less fruit on it, sure, will come in earlier. Also, oh wow, so it has so, less fruit to carry. Exactly, that makes yeah. it. Kind right. of like spring a little right. earlier, right? right. right. Um, and then the, yeah. the hill, the hills that we're on have thinner soil, so that okay. adds to uh, earlier ripening. So you you combine uh, denser planting, thinner right. soils, uh, warmer summer, and that that wow. can, that can bring it on. But so, actually, uh, end of August, August is usually our start date for harvest. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. I mean, a, a little quicker, but not. Too much, no, right? Yeah, 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 a couple weeks. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly, a week yeah. or two, sir. Yeah. yeah. And so, if I want to visit the tasting room that we're in right now, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys so uh, maybe I can set up a time to visit? Super, through our website, uh, www.booker.wine. Mm -hmm. um, from there, you there's a little tab called to visit us, mm -hmm. and you can make an, a reservation to come here to Grand Cru. Mm -hmm. um, we have a little bit. We have uh, six tasting salons. We're in one of ours right now that has a, a nice table in it. This sure. accommodates six or eight people. We have an open patio right outside, right. Um, and then we also have two rooms with bars. Or sorry, four rooms with bars in them for a little bit smaller groups, two oh, or three well. people. Um, we also do uh, some events here, oh, so nice. we can uh, take over two or three rooms sure. for um, annual release parties of our wines and uh, so, wow wow yeah. so a lot of flexibility absolutely depending on the event depending yes. on how many people are in your party that you're uh, coming to do some wine tasting experience yes with, right mm -hmm. yeah wow, wow. that's, that's great. Fun. Yeah. yeah 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 come visit us I will I will I, fun. I gotta bring my wife yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I was gonna bring her today but she had a, an important shopping uh, That's okay. thing with mom, and yeah, so, uh, okay. but yeah, we Next will time. definitely uh, definitely make a visit. Yeah, uh, the wines are so luscious. The Pinot that we've tasted today, just to me, it is almost uh, a symbol of what you think of, of Sonoma County wines. Absolutely. Now, when you're talking yeah. Pinot, I mean, it's mm -hmm. like. That's yeah. it's that's what you come to expect, yeah. you know. And yeah, uh, thank you, you guys much. definitely are meeting that high mark. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Incredible. thank you very much. Thank it's incredible. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers again. All right, come visit us. Cheers. All right, thank you.